Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Mother's House Podcast, and I am Deshaun. What's going on, family? This is Corey. In the building, peace to the family, peace and light to everyone out there. All that good stuff. Yep, so, all of that. What's going on with my cousin? Chilling, what's up with you? Chilling, chilling. Just another day. Right. Another day out here. You mm-hmm. know, just trying to shake it and move it. Move and shake it. You ready for the next uh, black film, Wrinkle in Time? I didn't even know yeah. it was coming out for like a long time. So, so you think it was the marketing? Did they did a poor marketing and they put too much marketing on Black Panther than they did on um, Oh, Disney, time. Disney is behind Rick in time? Oh yeah, it's Disney film. Oh, then that's probably what it is, yeah. That's why it was. <laughs> they probably like, uh uh-uh, we, we ain't got enough money to do both of y'all. So right. <laughs> One of y'all but, niggas um, gonna lose. <laughs> but yo, so it just suppose to this conversation, to go into this conversation a little deeper, you know, I was listening to um, Thought Crimes talk about it, and um, it was brought up the question about, you know, Wrinkling Time and Black Panther, and, and uh, they made a clear assessment that I 100% agree, and I want to take a deeper dive into it. Yeah, okay. um, and from their assessment, they were saying, like, you know, the success of Black Panther, you know, it was kind of inevitable because people been waiting for this film, you know, <clears throat> for a long time, like before three years ago. It had a lot of hype behind it, you know. When Wesley Sykes talked about doing it before Blade, there was a lot of hype around it, you know what I'm saying? So people been waiting for this movie since Blade came out, you know, the first one. So it was going to make some big numbers. They just don't didn't know, expect it to make this big of numbers. Like, it's on track to make a billion dollars in the box office. So, um, side note, um, so, um, Disney gave a million dollars to to the Boys Club and the Girls Club of America. Yeah, uh, apparently, I guess the little petition that the guy made it got to the right ears, and it didn't exactly go to just the black communities, but they did something. Yeah, I mean, I ain't mad at they 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 they, they, they um it's cool. It's a good gesture. It's cute. It's a cute gesture. It's very you know cute. I mean? It's bad. It's but I almost gesture. feel like it's kind of like, all right, yeah, ugh. Yeah, here y'all go. Right. All right, y'all, only went to one billion, yay. <laughs> right, so, you know, I think it could be a lot, it could have been, like I said before, the biggest thing is you need to, we need more than just money to be thrown at a situation or at a program. We got to start implementing more programs of STEM, you know what I'm saying, put more money behind they just boys club and girls club but put money behind the black girls coding or black boys coding black children coding um <clears throat> give them programs in their schools or co- come up with curriculum to teach them about technology on the film sets you know something like that but I know they ain't gonna put that cause that's a, that, that would be at least you know you can put 20 million behind that and make that really be something it's gonna need a lot yeah you're gonna need what kind of money right <laughs> but I think real talk, like I really think that's a good gesture. Whatever, you know, it is what it is. But do I feel like we made an impact to it? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even think the petition made an impact. I think they was gonna do that regardless, because they just, you know, just be cute. Be to just to be Disney ish about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but get back on to Wrinkle and Time and um yeah, Black Black Panther, Panther, right. Right, so Regular Time is directed by Ava DuVernay, you know, who's an outstanding um, director. She did 13th, it was an amazing documentary. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, definitely go on Netflix and yeah, check that out. Really good. Um, we might even wait to our. Can we do a um, breakdown to it? Uh, What's probably. Going on? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we did so many breakdowns, y'all. Mm-hmm. But um, she did the 13th, she did Selma. Um, and I think it's a third uh, directorial debut oh, outside cool. of the um, Jay Z video. Right, right. Um, I, I would say this about Ava DuVernay, her her vision is very much you know cinematic, and what I mean by that is very much uh, when you watch when you watch Selma, 
the pictures, the images, the visuals is very beautiful. The the storyboard, the lines, and everything is 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 done effortlessly. The only thing about it is it don't draw me in as much as I would like it to. Are you talking about the movie Wrinkle in Time or just like everything that? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the movie Wrinkle in Time. I'm not talking about Selma or. Uh, 13, 13 was great. Some of was good. It's based know. off of a book, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's based off a book. I never heard or read the book or nothing. Um, and then also, you know, I'm just coming off my Black Panther high and a high, and um, I'm still somewhat on it. But um, I'm getting kind of tired of seeing male people <laughs> in the movies, but you know. You know, it's the movie industry, and, 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 and I just want to see Ava DuVernay, you know, do well. But I think Black Panther gonna outshine this movie. It definitely already, it already outshined the movie based by itself with the promo. Right. <laughs> you know, the promo was on for Black Panther. People were promoting, who are not even attached to the movie, were promoting the Black Panther shit. We were promoting the damn Black Panther before even... Well, Ryan Coogler just got announced that they were going to do the film. I you know? just found out about Wrinkle in Time, like, I, and I'm not even playing. Like, maybe, I think it was a preview at the Black Panther. Oh, for real? I swear that's when I found out. Like, it was in, like, the last they, week. You know, they were filming it at the same time. They were, like, uh, producing the film, like, put the pictures and everything together at the same time in the same studio with uh, Black Panther. So, Ryan Coogler and Ava Coogler, they were kind of going back and forth. On both of productions, you know. Oh, that's cool. See what's going on? So you know, <clears throat> like I said, it's room enough for everybody to be able to tell the story. You know, so even doing these to the Ryan Coogles, they're very inspirational. But I don't think it's going to, you know, offset. You know, because um, a lot of people going on this rampage. Like I was listening to an interview recently, and they were saying like Black Panther had changed the game in film industry across the globe, and I'm like. It probably sparked it. It's, it's a reason for it, but I don't think it changed it. So do you think people think that Black Panther is going to usher in this wave of successful, highly successful Black films and bigger budgets and bigger Black movies? I don't think so, me personally. I don't think so. But do you think that's what everyone else thinks? Yeah, I think that's what everybody else thinks. I definitely do. I think what is going to happen, they're going to look at what we can in time do and, play and say, well... Black Panther did it because it's a superhero movie, and Marvel did it, and it's, it had such, they had, they had to put so much for the promotion, and they had to put so much money on the promotion, and they had to put so much on this, where, you know, they kind of put, you know, how much they put into Rick and the Time? I want to say they put in like 105 million or something. That's, like how, that, that's how much that movie costs? Yeah. That movie did not cost that much. Yeah, that movie cost 100 something million. Oh, hell let's, no. let's, let's, let's do the research real quick, so I won't be off. But um, I believe they put like hundred some odd million into the movie with the special designs, the graphics, and graphic design, the CGI. Cause that movie got a lot of it. I always um, wonder why CGI costs so much when they ain't got to go nowhere and it's all computerized. They just build that shit on the computer. I don't get it. <laughs> but okay. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a, the software is expensive. I don't know. I, I don't do movies yet, so I don't really know. Um, but you know. I think well, the reason why I think that the, the real thing like we know Black Panther was going to do great right the thing you need to pay attention is the, if, if you don't if you see the response to Wrinkle in Time and how Hollywood is going to respond to that movie you know what I'm saying and their response is going to be like well you only got one director who can do this even though you know you got um, what's a brother name that's Gary Gray who directed um that movie uh, uh, um, Fast and the Furious the latest one and that's all they almost did a billion in the in the box office sales across the globe right um, another director um, I think Moonlight the director for Moonlight he did great numbers across the globe now you got um, 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 uh, Ryan Coogler you know with his amazing film with Black Panther and um you know, you got Ava DuVernay, who's another uh, a great director. You know oh my God, saying? the budget is 103 million. Oh my God, yeah. they're gonna lose money. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're gonna lose money. I think they're gonna get it, but they ain't gonna get it. Last, it ain't gonna be on no Black Panther. No. 
in order for them to get it, it's gonna have to make uh, at least a hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, to get paid back. That's I think that's probably what they're gonna see probably within the next within the first three weeks. In order for it to weeks. do what it needs to do, it needs to make two hundred million dollars. Yeah, it need to make two hundred million. I don't think it's gonna do that. Cause I don't think cause the reason why I say that because the promotion is not there. And, and with that being said, I think we have to realize that when the people who control the promotion really control the success of a lot of things. I would say marketing and promotion is maybe 80% of most things, especially in media, media, music, entertainment. If you ain't got no marketing or no promotion, I don't care who you is, it's not going to have an effect. No, 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 no. Now, the story... From what I gather from the story of Wicklin Time, it's going to be empowering for young black girls. You know what I'm saying? Because the young black girl in the movie is the hero. The, the hero with him. He's the hero in the film. And um, oh, and it then, comes out so, next week. Yeah, it come out next week. Yeah, okay, so, well, maybe it might. You know what? I hope it, it might, does we well. Don't know. I hope it does well. Well, I do too. I do too. You know, they got you know. Um, Reese Witherspoon. I don't know young the young girl who's playing the, the young actress who's playing the main character. Um, they got the brother Zadaya, um, little sister. She like Zadaya. She do. Um, I said brother, but not the brother, but the guy who played Captain Kirk in um, Star Wars new franchise. He playing in it. Um, they got Times Up. Um, Miss Oprah Winfrey <laughs> in it. And um, but Oprah can actually act though. I ain't gonna even lie. Oprah for that? Uh, yeah. No, no, you can't put me. You can't put it. You can't. I mean, you ever seen the movie? Um, what that movie called? Uh, the Color Purple. Not Color Purple. She got another. Beloved. Love it. Man, that movie scared the shit out of me. That movie <laughs> that was, was weird. Kid. Yeah. It was super weird. It was, it was weird. Oh my god, that movie was weird. But um, yeah, you got you got Oprah Winfrey. And granted, we got our criticism for Oprah Winfrey, but that's not what this show is about. So we ain't gonna go there, all right, guys. You know, y'all can do that in the comment section if y'all want. <laughs> but um, I think that you know, like you said, promotion is key to the success of any film or any kind of project. Like you gotta have the visibility out there, and people gotta be able to check it out. Um, Especially with a movie. The press- yeah, yeah. So the thing with Black Panther, they were doing press run like early in January. I think Rick and Tyler should did the same thing around January but the thing is like I said Disney put a lot of money into the Black Panther promotion and I think they probably put more of their money into that promotion than they did um regular time now some people could throw up you know sexism all that stuff right um that could be a play for it but I don't know what you think they should have pushed regular and time back I think so too I think they should have pushed it until like the the At least the Easter, the it looks real Easter ish. It looks spring Easter ish to me anyway. It does. It, it should have been like. I don't know why they put it in there out in March, but you know. Yeah, it should be like after. It should be April. At least April. Yeah. It looks and, real. And give them two months run to try right. to really push this movie in people's faces. You know? It's that like two weeks right after Black Panther was being successful. And people still run to the theaters to see Black Panther. I think people will still be running to see Black Panther while people going to see. You know, the wrinkling time. Right. You know? But, um, um, but I think they can both exist in the same space. I just think yeah, it, it's room. It's room. I, I just think the promotion is what's hurting me more than anything. Right. Right, um, right. Because I was like, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen this in my life. And it's the thing, wrinkling time, I don't know nothing about the story. Even from the trailer, I couldn't really ask uh, what the heck going on in the story. It made me kind of interested to see what she did with the story and what the story is about. But other than that, I'm like, I could wait. If if I'm not, if I wasn't part of the media heads, you know, YouTube verse people, you know what I'm saying? Um, YouTube if I wasn't doing, you, if I wasn't doing YouTube and I wasn't doing reviews and stuff like that, we wasn't doing reviews and doing nothing. I wouldn't be going to try to see this movie until it came out on tape. Just to be honest, you know. Um, but you know, uh, it is. Uh, uh, hmm. It looks like a little cute little fantasy movie. 
Yeah, it's a kid's movie, man. That's what it is. It's a Disney movie. That's what it is. It's exactly a, a Disney movie. You know, with Black Panther, it was a Disney movie as well, but it was a, a Marvel movie. It was a superhero movie. So it was a little different, different genre of things. Um, and, and, you know, when you deal with superheroes, a lot of people watch superhero movies. So I think more people watch superhero movies than kids watch. And kids like superhero movies more so than they like, you know, um, fantasy movies like this one. You know well, I think with comic book movies, you pull from different demographics and different ages. You know, you they got like my mama went to go see Black Panther. Yeah, she loved it. My mom loved it. My parents went like you know, and Black Panther has been out for a long, long time. But then I don't know how long the story of Wrinkle in Time has been now. That's the thing. I never heard of the book. I know it's, I, I just found out it was a book. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't know nothing about the story. And I, I'm, I'm interested because, like, I'm looking for some interviews, recent interviews of David Dory, and they talk about the story of it. I'm oh, and- more excited about it, but I couldn't really find nothing. The book was published it. in 1962, so maybe there are some people who are waiting to go see Wrinkle and Time. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, you know, um, it, it is an interesting dynamic talking about space and time and time travel and everything. It got all the sci fi elements in it, you know what I mean? Um. Yeah, definitely has that that uh, futuristic or mind bending type of feel, kind of like. I wonder if this is supposed to be Disney version of Inception. Cause that's kind of what I kind of get from it. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, yeah, now I want to see. It. I, <laughs> that would make me kind of interested to see it, cause it looked like a, a Disney version of the Inception. Yeah, now I want to see it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go check it out. I am gonna see it. I'm supposed to go see it next week. You know. Uh, Who you and Ashley? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, you know, yeah. Oh, that's nice. But um but I like I said, I know how Hollywood would play these games. If it doesn't reach the same status as Black Panther or damn near close to it, it's not gonna they're gonna look like at, look at it and be like still say the same narrative that black films does not sell. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like I don't want people to jump up the brakes and be like, we made it in black cinema because Black Panther did it. Like, no. That's it. Black Panther's saying that we can't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, I mean, and I, I just want people to understand that they can set things up to make it look like whatever won't sell. Like, everything that quote-unquote sells nine times out of ten is because they set it up to sell. Of course, you got your song, your, your you know, your exceptions to the rule that, you know, do well and take off but for the most part just about everything that sells is because they got the proper machines in place to make it sell right true now granted Black Panther did inspire a lot of movie theaters saying we need more black films in our theaters they did sit out something I saw read somewhere somebody said that I don't know where the fuck I pulled it from I did see it somewhere randomly online um and if that's true that's what they asking for you know what I'm saying and um cause like Wrinkle the Time it's a black film cause it got a black director and a black girl as a lead but um I don't think it's a black film like that and it got Oprah in it and it got Oprah in it and that's another thing a lot of people think it's gonna, Oprah's gonna pull a lot of you know feminists into the film you know what I'm saying but I don't think the popularity the population as a whole cause like for Black Panther feminists was there black people was there like people like everybody was there you know what I'm saying for that movie. Um, Wrinkle in Time, it seems like it's going to be, you know, it ain't going to pull that same, as much demographic pull as Black Panther did, too. But, um, if y'all want Wrinkle in Time, and y'all really want to stand, put a stamp in, and think, so Wrinkle Time is going to dampen the, the film industry impact of Black Panther. It ain't going to it, uh, dampen the inspiration from it, but it's going to dampen the film industry, the Hollywood industry, um, to be like, okay, yeah, we see that we need to put more money in the black films. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't think it will, because shit, we know how Hollywood work, man. Like, right. so like, like I said, Black, black Panther did a great, you know, box office numbers. Never been seen on this scale like that, right? Yeah, they- black, films, black films have been very well seen across the globe. I mean, at this you point, Black Panther is the lot biggest black film of all time. It is. It is. 
It's one of the biggest films of all time. Yeah, it's one of the biggest films of all time. And, 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 and projected, some people will say it is the biggest film of all time because of cultural impact on it. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, for Hollywood to take notice of it, hey, to them some stuff. You still got stubborn old white racists. And then, after it be the biggest event, I want to know if they're going to pay these people. That's what I want to know. That's another good ass question. I want to know after the billion dollars come in. You know what I'm saying? Is that 700 million? Like, what is the contract negotiation they have with the film? You know what I mean? Um, Where y'all stand with Lupita Yango, where she be like, I'm not doing the next Black Panther film, but they ain't willing to pay me. That's what she said? No, I'm saying if she does, she's doing that whole well, he, he need to boycott more. Interesting though, really. Yeah, yeah. It does. It does. Like it may be a fun watch. Yeah, and, and, you know what's another interesting? It kind of clicked me up. Uh, uh, I haven't seen Black Mirror, and I'm about to start watching it actually tonight. Black Mirror, but it kind of gave me a Black Mirror, you know, feel to it. Like it's weird, and different. You know what I mean? Based on what everybody said. Well, based off the visuals of it, and then everybody, what everybody said about Black Mirror. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother, words cannot express. I could live in any time, I could live in any country, I could live on any planet and I would be fine. What was the key? key. What did your mother know? (laughs) What truth was coming through your mother? 
that's going to come through you to your daughter. My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children. And the one that I, there are two that stand out foremost in my mind. One is the inner reality creates the outer form. I learned this when I was in grade school, I was very young. And the other is the universe bears no ill to me, I bear no ill to it.